So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? Fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Folks, here we go, undisputed UFC heavyweight championship fight, and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight, and he's enjoying every moment of it. Huge title defense beckons for him tonight. John, he loves where he stands in the sport. He loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet. He knows he's the biggest, he's the strongest, he's the baddest, and he loves it. And he prepares as if he never wants to let that go. This man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on Well, right, you lose this belt, it's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate here tonight. Well, it is the venue in which every UFC athlete hopes to one day compete, and we are now ready to go from Madison Square Garden here in New York City. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Dynamite. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Uriah. There's Herb Dean, who will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, so here is the ultimate fighter veteran now, UFC middleweight staple, Uriah Primetime Hall. Let's see how he approaches the early portions of this round. Said he was going to focus a lot on his kicking game here tonight, attacking the body and the legs of the opposition. Big shot to the head. Massive flying knee. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Paul gets tattooed by that straight punch. Big shot to the body. Frantic pace early on to this one. Lands the double jab. He's hurt so bad. He's got to find safety. Find a way that you can recover. Big right hand. Straight right is there. 
Beautiful strike at distance there from Uriah Hall. He has really rounded out his striking game. A lot of different weapons coming your way. And he landed that one flesh on Nice straight right lands. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, nice body shot. What a fight. And the strike lands clean. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. He's taking too many of these shots at top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting. He's being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has received. Good job defensively to block that punch. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, well, why get away from it? Another huge kick lands. Just over two minutes, round one. Both guys appeared to land there. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. Paul circling towards the left side now. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Paul's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. All right, single collar tie now. Under a minute now to go in this one. Nice, nicely done. Oh, nice check on the leg kick off right there. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not... One guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blow, that crimson red is nothing. Oh! oh, what a way to end the round. He got Done by a huge shot there just before you heard the horn. So he gets saved by the bell. The question is, though, what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool? 60 seconds here to recover. The onus is on his corner to keep his head in the foot. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Oh, he lands a kick to the leg. Oh, misses with the jab. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Straight punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. 
just unable to quite find that range. as he counters with a punch. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this game. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he does. Oh! Snapped off the jab nicely there. Oh, nice jab. Paul's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Another one! Oh, this could do it. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the game. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that opportunity. Separate. Under two minutes to go in our second round. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you... Oh! Yeah, he hurt him real bad. He's still hurt. Let's go. Keep that fish and finish this fight. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. With that, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 34 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite! All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star in a massive draw for the UFC.